When will immigration speed up again? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. You know, in the history of Alcoholics Anonymous, they have the 12 steps, and the first step is that um, when um, that you have to admit that you were powerless over your situation and that your life had become unmanageable. This is true of USCIS. Their lives have become unmanageable, their processes are unmanageable, the departments are unmanageable, and the effects are devastating to people being uh, delayed by USCIS and by the State Department. So what I mean by this is that in order to fix a problem, you first have to admit you have a problem. And while USCIS has asked for lots more money, has complained to government officials and politicians that they are behind and that they uh, are experiencing great delays, they aren't admitting that it is their problem. They're, they're pointing fingers to Donald Trump, they're pointing fingers to the past, they're pointing fingers to the misallocation of funds and budgeting. And at the fundamental core though, they are not admitting that they are the only ones who can fix it. Jim Hacking can't fix USCIS. Immigration lawyers can't fix USCIS. Clients and, and customers of USCIS and of the State Department can't make things go faster. The only people that can make things go faster are those at the top, at the USCIS and at the State Department. And as far as I can tell, they're not making it a priority. So I don't believe that things are going to get faster at USCIS anytime soon. I'm frankly really surprised as we're coming up on the one year of Joe Biden as president that things have not started speeding up at USCIS. And I was reading an article yesterday how it's not just in immigration where people are making this complaint about the Biden team. It's in all the things that he ran on, all the issues that he ran on. And I know that Biden supporters will say, well, we can't get comprehensive immigration reform. I'm not talking about comprehensive immigration reform. I'm talking about agencies, the two agencies charged with processing our nation's immigration laws, the State Department and USCIS, of just doing their job of just fixing things internally, of using the money that they have to make the process go smoother and quicker. And so far, I have not seen that become a priority. They complain about having to deal with humanitarian relief for people coming from Afghanistan and the so-called crisis at the border. But even those things, they're, they're dragging ass on and they're not doing anything quickly. There is absolutely no sense of urgency. So if you are walking around thinking to yourself that things are going to turn around real quickly at USCIS and the State Department, that's sort of where I was this time last year. That's where I thought, boy, we're going to get some smart people in there who really care about immigrants, who are not as vengeful and hateful as the Trump team, and that's going to start turning things around in a more uh, timely fashion. We haven't seen it. We're probably not going to see it. As far as I can tell, they haven't identified anyone to, to take on that responsibility and it's really sad and it's really pathetic. If you're sick of waiting, you're probably best going to be served about by considering filing a lawsuit against USAS or the State Department if your case has dragged on a long, 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 long time. That's what we're seeing every day. That's what we talk about on our Immigration Answers show. And I'm sorry about that. I wish there was more I can do. The only thing I know to do is to sue them. If you have questions about this, if you're hoping that things speed up, at least in your case, you can give us a call, 314-961-8200. Our email address is info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. If you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, we're going live every single day in January um, for at least 31 minutes in all 31 days on our Immigration Answers live show, which you can catch on LinkedIn, YouTube, and on our Facebook group, Immigrant Home. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.